Between just Norway, Iceland, and Japan, around 1,500 whales are killed every year. At the peak of their whaling, Japan killed 24,000 whales in 1964 alone. Although they stopped whaling from 2014 to 2015, they are whaling once again, killing 333 mink whales last year. In fact, this is only a third of what they used to hunt before revising their scientific whaling program in 2016 after the International Court of Justice deemed their program was not scientific. Through this hunting of whales, the oceans, ecosystems, and the atmosphere are being heavily affected. Whale fecal matter stimulate phytoplankton, which are estimated to pull thousands of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. This is incredibly important to the environment because the ocean is estimated to absorb 30 to 50 percent of CO2 in the atmosphere. In recent years, there has been an increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere due to human activity, like burning fossil fuels, and this is leading to climate change. Therefore, whales are important to the growth of phytoplankton, which help transport that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to the deep sea so it can dissolve in the ocean. Whales are hunted with explosive grenade harpoons. Each harpoon comes loaded with explosives that go off once they've penetrated about a foot into the flesh of the whale. The internal blast is supposed to cause enough brain damage to kill or knock out the whale within a few seconds. Exploded harpoons are often not fatal, and some whales are harpooned multiple times before they die. If the harpoon doesn't kill the whale completely, the hunter uses a harpoon rifle and shoots it at the whales. Hunters could also use multiple harpoons to kill the whale depending on its size. Wounded harpoon whales are dragged into whaling vessels where they may be speared with more harpoons or shot with high-powered rifles. Whales which are harpooned near the tail and then winched in alive to the bow of the catcher ship eventually die of suffocation as their heads are forced underwater. Even after they are shot multiple times, they could still feel the pain and some still are alive but barely. It is still common practice in Japan and many other island countries. For many years, whaling was considered acceptable if it was being done for scientific research. Japan used this fact to leverage other countries into keeping on hurting these precious creatures. In reality, what they were doing was saving their vast economy that they stopped in something with. Recently, Japan's claims of scientific research have been said to be false and their whaling was condemned and seemed to be stopped. Japan responded by stopping the whaling for nearly a year, and now it started back up again. BBC. This culture aspect is another part of Japanese life that they claimed was dear, and they continued to hunt whales to kill them each year, killing more and going on more excursions to further away places. We need to unite as a community and as a country and as a globe to stop this horrific hunting of whales. Part of the solution for stopping whaling is holding companies and countries financially responsible for exploiting loopholes which allow them to hunt whales in the name of scientific research. This will make it harder for these companies to hunt whales, therefore contributing to the decline of whaling. Moreover, in Japan, Whale meat and products used to be a big part of Japanese life. However, nowadays, whale consumption is on the decline. Therefore, we plan to create a campaign to spread awareness to people in Japan about the consequences of whaling on our environment and encourage people to stop buying whale products. This will expedite the decline of whale products and halt the detrimental results of whale. As you can see from this evidence, the brutal hunting of the minke whales needs to be solved and stopped now. With your help, us as a society can bring the immoral hunting of these majestic creatures to a halt, and you can help us with our cause by coming up with us on our campaign duty.